I'm Dr. Kirsten Trainer, honeybee scientist and founder of Two Million Blossoms. ASU Now has called us the Vanity Fair of Pollinator Publications. We've successfully produced our first four issues, growing our subscriber base from 270 to over 1,700. Why pollinators? Our insect biodiversity is disappearing, our meadows shrinking, and our pollinators falling silent as they wink out of existence. We've lost over 70% of the world's insects in the last three decades. Protecting pollinators is becoming a booming business. People want to help, but they don't know how. This is where we come in. In each, each issue, we entertain, inform, and inspire. Our readers love that we highlight the small wins, small steps we can all take to improve the plight of pollinators instead of focusing on the doom and gloom. Each issue is 100 plus pages in a coffee table-like magazine that's printed as sustainably as possible. It offers a welcome respite from the long hours we all spend glued to our devices with superb writing by award-winning authors. We aim to combine beauty with scientific detail, as you can see in some example spreads from our first year. We launched last year via a successful Kickstarter campaign, doubling our goal and raising over 21,000. Our current website receives almost 2,000 visitors a month with 17% viewing product and a strong purchasing funnel. However, we want to revamp our static site so it's more content driven and sticky, driving additional subscriptions. Due to COVID, we don't have direct sales. Thus, we currently only have website sales. We had a boom in sales when our first issues came out in January. You can definitely see a pandemic slump, which cut into our normal in-person marketing efforts, but we very quickly revamped and have been on an upward trajectory since June with over 7,000 in website sales in September. In total, we've had almost 50,000 in sales. This does not include advertising revenue. We've gained really good traction because our competition is outdated. I'm the former editor of American Bee Journal, so I had prior experience and could recognize the failings of the competition. They often have poor writing, pedal pseudoscience, and cater to older male readers. But the industry has shifted dramatically in the last decade, with more women and younger families getting involved. However, the competition does do something right. They average 30 to 45% advertising content, and they have a subscriber base of 15 to 20,000 each, indicating lots of room to grow, especially with our magazine's broader focus. We've profiled our readers and find that 60% are female. They're all highly educated with a high net worth, the perfect customer segment for high-end advertisers. Our target market thus fits into three large categories, the whole food shopper, beekeepers, and gardeners. We have the most traction with beekeepers as I come from that industry, but are actively growing all three through innovative marketing. We now see an opportunity to grow digital memberships. We have unique content and can expand our pollinator focused message to a subscriber based website with monthly access fees to generate additional revenue. Since we've had success guest hosting the Beekeeping Today podcast, we will be rolling out a 2 million blossoms podcast to increase our subscriber base and generate ad revenue. We earned 20,000 in our first year. With investment to rebuild our website and increase our marketing and sales, we believe we can grow substantially in 2021, covering our costs and generating 40% profit. This will be reinvested into content creation, making us a dynamic production company with print, podcasts, a membership website, and educational videos. We want to be on target. Realistically, in the next five years, we can grow to 10,000 subscribers. Eventually, that will be 25 to 45,000. With our podcast listener base expansion and sticky website, we can easily generate over 1 million in revenue. We're a tiny team. I run the day to day, have the assistance of a copy editor, and work with a wonderful team of field reporters who are highly specialized in science, writing, and photography. They send me very engaging content, which we share through all our social media channels and print in our magazine. We're thus seeking 20,000 in funds to revamp our website and create sticky content, create a subscriber management database and improve marketing and sales 
so we can best build our subscribers. Thank you.